going to, yeah, no kidding. Thank you. All right, page 192, model three, the millionaire real estate agent model. This is your playbook. All of you are on track to become millionaire real estate agents, whether you've been a realtor with Keller Williams for five years, six months, or a day, right? There you go. That's you. Yeah. You are on track to be a millionaire real estate agent. That's why you're here. You're here, you're here to build a big business. Our goal is to help all of you get to gross a million and then net a million and then finally receive a million. And, and receive a million is when you've built a seventh level business, which means you own a business that you are not actively working in. You're working on the business, but you're not working in the business. You're probably working 15 to 20 hours a week. And your number one job as a seventh level business owner is to attract talent, teach, train, coach, and consult everybody who is a part of your team. All right, now, there we go, love it. Thank you, uh, Brian, for sharing that in the chat. All right, page 192, budget model. Good news, we're gonna go through this quickly because I know the budget model is your favorite conversation. <laughs> hey, let's talk about a budget, woohoo, I'm excited. <laughs> Oh, Diane likes it. Okay. All right. Top of the page 192. The budget model of the millionaire real estate agent is a more high level look at your spending. What it does is highlight those areas where your focus and attention will pay the highest dividends. The million, I love that word. The millionaire real estate agent budget model is divided into two broad categories cost of sales and operating expenses. Now, to be the most effective you can be and get the most out of these investments, you should be able to explain why every budget item is there. Bottom of the page, your cost of sales reflects the actual cost of capturing and converting your leads to sales. Seller specialists are responsible for five key activities. So we're looking at cost of sales and just focusing on seller specialists for a second. A seller specialist is responsible for converting seller leads into appointments, making listing presentations, securing seller listings, handling communications during the marketing period, that's the top of page 194, by the way, and nego negotiating purchase offers. Now, I'm a plug and play guy. In other words, if somebody says, this is if my coach, if Gary Keller says, this is the play, I'm just gonna run it. I'm not gonna ask any questions, right? So there it is, there's the play. Now on page 193, you've got a great diagram of the budget model broken down. We're not gonna go into this today, but I encourage you blow this page up. Post this on the wall where you work so that you can see you've got a visual of the roadmap that you're following to gross a million and net a million. And here's the problem. If you don't follow the model, you, you can gross a million without the model. However, you can't net a million without the model. Now, $2.4 million gross commission income equals 1 million in net commissions. And that's because the budget model is 30, 30, 40. 30% cost of sales, 30% operating expense, 40% profit. In order to net a million dollars, you have to gross $2.4 million. Now, if you ignore the budget model, Madison, you can gross 2.4 million and not net a million. There are real estate agents who are netting 10%, which means they're grossing $2.4 million and they're netting $240,000, true story, right? And you don't wanna be that agent. So don't ignore the model. All right, I want you to skip over to page 196. I told you it was gonna be quick. <laughs> model four, the millionaire real estate agent 
organization model. From your first hire to your last, the key to knowing which people to, hot, to bring on board and what skills they should have on that, that, that text tone is cracking me up. Uh, all right, lost track. <laughs> From your first hire to your last, the key to knowing which people to bring on board and what skills they should have on their resume is to have a detailed organizational model. In other words, if you don't know what your organizational model looks like, then you're not gonna know who you're looking for. If you don't know what seats are on the bus, you're not gonna know how to put people in those seats. Now, believe it or not, this is how most real estate agents build a team. And what they end up doing is they build a glob, not a team. You just got a bunch of people that kind of share the same space and everybody is running the same place. Think of it like football. There we are, it took 12 minutes to get to football, cool. Think of it like football and you've got 11 Tom Brady's on the field. Now, Tom Brady's a rock star, but how good is that football team gonna be if you've got 11 Tom Brady's on the field? Not very good, because Tom Brady is good at one position, quarterback, that's it. He sucks at everything else. I'm good at one role, team leader. Thank God Keller Williams has a team leader role. Otherwise, I wouldn't be talking to you right now because I suck at everything else. All right. Middle of the page. There are three distinct areas of staffing, administrative, buyer, and seller. Now, your goal is to hire a lead administrative assistant, to hire a lead buyer specialist, and to hire a lead listing specialist. Now, when you've done that, then as the owner of the team, you're only speaking to, directly responsible for three people, your lead administrative assistant, your lead buyer specialist, and your lead listing specialist. They are responsible for everyone else. Administrative help is at the heart of the organizational model of the million, millionaire real estate agent, only after, holy cow, pay attention, only after a solid administrative staff is in place do we begin to even think about hiring buyer and seller help. Build the kitchen before you build the dining room. Build the back of the house before you build the front of the house. You have to have that support staff in place before you start hiring salespeople. Otherwise, you're not following the model. You're building a hobo shack versus a mansion, and it's not gonna work. It's gonna break. Okay, bottom of the page. In the end, each area should have a highly talented person in place. Your marketing and administrative manager, your lead buyer specialist, and finally, your lead listing specialist. Your primary focus under leverage from the start of your career until the end is to find and keep magnificent talent for these three essential positions. So do you ever stop looking for talent? No. Nope. Do you ever get to a point where you're not meeting with potential hires for your team in your administrative department and in your sales department. Do you ever get to a point where you stop doing that? No, you don't. That is your job. Gary Keller still does that. Trust me, Gary Keller works a lot. He doesn't have to, but he does. And this is his number one job, find talent. Put talent in the right seat. Top grade, which means you're always looking for talent so that you can top grade each position. And then that's an opportunity if you've got talent already in that role for that person to go find their next opportunity in your organization. All right, bottom of the page. If you have extraordinary talent in all three, your chances of becoming a millionaire real estate agent are greatly enhanced. Magnificent talent is not easy to find. I'm going to pause for just a second because this is one of the challenges that a lot of real estate agents have is they'll hire someone and that person won't work out. And that's frustrating. It's exhausting. And you're, you'll hear real estate agents say things like, 
I tried to build a team and it didn't work. So I'm done with that. I'm going back to doing everything on my own. Right. And trust me, I've been there. There were many times that Monica and I would have a conversation. Monica was my lead administrative assistant, my wife. <laughs> and the conversation sounded something like, we're going to fire everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just going to be you and I. Now, we had that conversation more than once. Now, the Dietz team started in 2006, and we were in production until 2015, which means basically for 10 years, we were trying to figure this out. Now, it took us from 2006 until 2010 before it started to work. You hear that? For four years, we failed at building a team. But we kept working on it because we knew the end result was worth it. By the way, the reason we were failing is because we were shortcutting the process. Career visioning is your path to building a successful team. Career visioning is a class that is offered through Keller Williams University. It's available through Keller Williams University. It's available through KW Connect. And it's available through the region at kwopportunities.com. Find that class, attend that class, attend that class at least 10 times because it's your job to master attracting talent, hiring talent, keeping talent. Yes or yes? Yes. Yeah, good answer. Okay. Let's go to page 198. The hiring path of the millionaire real estate agent. So many agents make the mistake of seeking sales support first usually buyer agents. So an agent starts to see some success and their thought process is, I'm gonna bring in a buyer specialist to handle all my buyer leads so that I could focus on the seller side of the business. And they didn't build a foundation that supports staff. Now, part of the value that you bring to that buyer specialist is the support staff that you're providing for them. And now this buyer specialist who's a part of your team, the only value you are, you are offering them is buyer leads. That's it. Now, if those leads are awesome and they're turning into closed sales, you're going to keep that person for a period of time, but eventually they're going to leave you because eventually they're gonna figure out, I could do this better on my own. Now, when you are providing them with great administrative support and that buyer specialist is just meeting with buyers, converting those appointments into buyer agency agreements, showing buyers properties, writing offers, negotiating contracts, and then your team does everything else. For them, your team, the administrative support becomes the wind beneath their wings. That buyer specialist is able to focus on their 20% because your team is providing the 80% support. Now, as a buyer specialist, I can close twice as many sales as I could without that support. Now I'm never going to leave you. How are we doing, guys? We okay? Yeah. Cool. All right, middle of page 198. <clears throat> Depending on your personal production limits, your first, second, and possibly even your third hire will be talented, talented administrative help. Your first, your second, and possibly your third hire is going to be talented administrative help. So let me see if I can get that so you can see that in Zoom world. This is you, your first hire is that lead administrative assistant. Your second hire is a transaction coordinator. Your third hire is a listing manager. That is what you want your team to look like. Now, what most real estate agents do is forget this box. Most real estate agents start by hiring a buyer specialist. Wrong. 
Right. Pretty simple, right? Now you've built a great foundation of administrative support. So now you can hire a buyer specialist because you've got support staff to support them. Your next hire may actually be a director of marketing or I can't talk and spell at the same time, a director of marketing or an ISA who's feeding leads to your buyer agent team. How are we doing guys? Good? Awesome. Okay. Middle of the page 198. Only after reaching that point, when you find you have more sales oriented work than you can handle alone, do you add staff for sales? specifically a buyer specialist to handle many of the time consuming tasks and processes of working with buyers. All right, bottom of the page 199. The last piece of the puzzle is on the seller side of the business. At some point, your lead buyer specialist and any additional buyer specialist will handle almost all of the buyer business and your marketing an administrative manager will handle all aspects of your systems and tools. This is when you start looking for help on the listing side of the business. Go to page 201, second paragraph. Years ago, we created a detailed list of the 170 tasks. Wow. 170 tasks related to doing business as a millionaire real estate agent. And to whom in this organizational model those tasks fall? Hundred and seventy tasks, and you should be doing five of them. That means one hundred and sixty-five can be leveraged. Your twenty percent is five of those hundred and seventy tasks, and those five are lead generation, meeting with buyers and sellers, taking seller listings, writing offers and negotiating contracts, and practicing and role playing your scripts. It's been the same five for the last 20 years, guys. I don't imagine that's ever going to change. Bottom of page 201. The seventh level is a kind of nirvana for the business person. It represents the place where you can actually step out of the business and start earning passive business income. All right. Yes, talk to me, Brian. And what are the five tasks again? I got three out of the five. Lead generation. Lead generation, lead generation, lead generation. Until lead generation is done, until you've hit your daily standards for the lead generation, nothing else matters. Meeting with buyers and sellers. Going on seller appointments, going on buyer appointments. Buyer appointments are in your office. Those are buyer consultations that lead to buyer agency agreements, writing offers and negotiating contracts. Take it, oops, number three is take seller listings. Excuse me, take seller listings. Number four, write offers and negotiate contracts. And number five, practice and role play your scripts. Thank you. You got it. All right, we're going to change the conversation. All right, this is a lead generation model that is going to lead to minimum 50 closed sales a year if you follow it. Now, really, really important, listen to what I said, if you follow it. If you lead, leave any of the ingredients out, if you come close to following it, you're not gonna get the same results. You might come close and you might miss it altogether. Leaving out part of the model 
might be the difference between 50 closed sales and 10 or five or none. All right. We have three key buckets that we're focused on prospecting, marketing, and repeat and referral business. Now, I'm going to work 50 weeks, five days a week. I'm going to take two weeks vacation. Now, you can flip that around. In other words, you don't want you want to take four weeks vacation? Cool. Do it. Just change the number so that you're still hitting the same standards in 48 weeks as you did in 52 weeks. Remember that success is not the result of how many hours you work or how many days you work or how much time you spend on work. Success is the result of how much focus and energy you put into that time. Now, if I'm working 250 days and my standard, non-negotiable standard is 20 conversations a day, that's 20 conversations. I'm talking to 20 people every day. I'm having real estate conversations. That includes care calls to your database. It includes two-way text messages. As long as there is a two-way conversation going on, it counts. It includes, what is it called? Instant Messenger on Facebook? I don't know all the social media words on that face chat thing. So, or snap face or whatever it is. So it's two-way conversations. Oh, it's painful. I'm having 5,000 conversations. Now, I've got two main focuses. Number one, I'm building my database. And the standard is plus 250 new Mets meaning I'm adding 250 people to my database or one every single day, okay? I'm also focused on meeting with people who are thinking of selling their home. And my standard is 250 people a year or one new person every single day. Now, when I add someone to my database, I am gonna to create top of mind using an eight by eight marketing plan that exists within command. That means I'm gonna communicate eight times in eight weeks in order to create top of mind. So when they think of real estate, they think of me. If you ask me, John, name a soda, my answer is Diet Coke. If you ask me, name a second soda, my answer is Diet Coke. In other words, there's only one. You want to become the Diet Coke of real estate for me. Is this making sense? Yes. Okay. So I'm using an eight by eight to create top of mind. Now, the next step is I'm moving those 250 people into my sphere of influence. That means definition of sphere of influence, SOI. They know you, they like you. If they were due to do a real estate transaction, they would work with you. If they knew of somebody that was going to do a real estate transaction, they would refer that person to you. That's the definition of somebody who is in your sphere of influence. Hopefully your mom is in your sphere of influence. Hopefully she knows you, she likes you, and she would work with you. By the way, if the answer is no, then she's not part of your sphere of influence. <laughs> So Aaron, I, I may be old, but I have really good listening. He said, my mom's not. So, so you know, Clarissa. All right, now the next step is I'm gonna communicate with those 250 people in my sphere of influence 36 times a year using a 36 touch smart plan that lives in command. Now that includes four phone calls, one every quarter. It's a care call, it's not a sales call. I'm using a Ford model of communication, family, occupation, recreation, and dreams 
to have a conversation. And every conversation includes, hey, by the way, who do you know that's looking to sell their house? Now I'm asking 250 people a year. 250 people, excuse me. I'm asking 250 people, who do you know that's thinking of selling their house? And I'm asking them that question four times a year. Now, the end result of this is prospecting is gonna feed people into my pipeline. These are people that I'm meeting with that are thinking of selling their home. I don't care if it's a week from now, six months from now, or a year from now, because a year from now, I'm gonna need listings. It's opportunity period, not opportunity right now. Prospecting is also gonna feed people into my new Met database. Now, marketing will feed people into my database. Marketing will also feed people into that pipeline. Repeat and referral business is all feeding into that pipeline. How are we doing, guys? Good. Now, the key to success, this is like the, 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 the fairy dust that you're going to sprinkle on this that is absolutely going to make it work. Without this, it doesn't work. The key to success is follow-up. And it's not just follow-up. It is follow-up forever. It is unconditional follow-up forever, which means I'm never going to list my home. Cool. Talk to you next month. If I ever do list my home, Maria, I'm going to hire anybody but you. Cool. Talk to you next month. <laughs> If I ever sell my $500,000 home, I want a million dollars for it and I'm only paying 1%. Cool, talk to you next month. Don't judge away opportunity. Follow up forever in order to create emotional proximity. Remember that people will never change their mind. Think about your kids. Daddy, can we go get ice cream? No. Please, 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 no. Right? However, they will make a new decision based on new information. And when Lacey was little, and I would say what every other parent on the planet says, which is, let me think about that. And Lacey said, please, no, please, no, please, no. And then she said, how about you say yes? <laughs> new information. And the answer is yes. John? Talk to me. Um, the 36 touch. So yeah. I know that that's the new thing and the book says 33. Where can I find the 36 touch? Oh, I love that question. I love that question. It's on command and it's under smart plans. And when you go into command and you click on the link for smart plans, you're going to find a library of more than 100 smart plans that have already been created for you. Guys, 10 years ago, this didn't exist. We had to create those 33 touches. We had to implement them. We had to actually block time to, to do them. Today, it exists for you. And a lot of it is set it and forget it. In other words, command does it for you. How cool is that? Clarissa. Justin has a smart plan class on Thursday. There you go. <laughs> So if you're in the Coral Springs Market Center, our amazing director of agent services has a smart plan class this Thursday. And I'm positive that's it available via Zoom. So even if you're not part of the Coral Springs Market Center, send an email to Justin Hurdy at kw.com, not John Dietz. Send an email to Justin Hurdy at kw.com and ask for the link to attend that class. Right? Cool. All right, give me a couple of ahas. We're going to jump. Did you get good value today? Was it worth the price of admission? Remember, this class is free before you answer, by the way. <laughs> hey, by the way, 250 people in your, in, in your database, according to your playbook, for every 12, you should get two transactions, right? Now, 
assume it's only 10%. That's 25 closed sales, right? I told you I was gonna show you how to sell 50 homes a year, right? So there's 25 right there. Now, when you're face-to-face -face with 250 people who are thinking of selling their home, and then you follow up forever, your conversion ratio is gonna be a minimum 10%. That's 25 sales, right? And 25 and 25 is 50, correct? There's 50 sales. There's a model, sell 50 homes a year. Absolutely guaranteed, if you follow it. All right, give me a couple of hugs. Yes, talk to me, Brian. You know, Brian's my new favorite. He's just absolutely jumping in there and participating, right? Brian, we love you. Thank you. The, the book um, says to do 320 transactions, right? Based on your model, like if we're only trying, like if we're only speaking with 20 people a day and having two-way conversation, that means that we're only going to have 50 transactions a year. That means that to get 320, I would have to be speaking with like 80 people or is there like an easier way to get there? Yeah. Brian, year two, you tracking? Year two, I've got 50 people in my past client circle on that database who are on a 36 touch smart plan. I have 50 past clients, that's 50 sales from last year. Plus I'm adding 250 more people to my database because I'm still adding one person every day. So now I have 500 people in my sphere of influence and 20 and 50 in my past clients. Now, if I close, do the math, John, <laughs> that's 550. If I have 550 total people in my database, 10% of that is 55, right? So year two, I've closed 55 through repeat and referral business. Plus, I'm still closing 25 through prospecting and follow-up. That is 80, if I did the math right. Now, instead of having 50 people in my past client database, I have 130 in my past client database. And year three, I've added 250 more people to my net database. So now I have 750 in my sphere of influence. Do you see the path of the math, Brian? Yeah. Now your job is to figure out how many years it'll take you to get to the number of closings you need in order to grow some million dollars. Thank you. Got it. All right, I want an aha, not a question. Not that I don't love you, Brian, but I want- Your want... sphere of influence is not just close friends because if you, can't, if you can't influence them to work with you, they're not sphere of influence. There you go. There you go. Your sphere of influence is more than just your close friends. Thank God. I'd have like two people in my sphere of influence. <laughs> Maria. Um, so you said the key success is follow up. So yeah. I was talking to my best friend yesterday and she said that she saw a girl in public that she hadn't seen in a while that wanted um, to sell her house or something. And I was like, hey, did you happen to mention that I was a realtor? Oh, I forgot. So I was like, then I was like, you have to tell your best friends, even your family, your mom, your dad, your sibling, like always just remind them, hi, I'm here, because you know you can't just always expect your really good friends to have your back or just be like, hey, like I do have a friend that's real too. So I kind of was like, yes, it's something. Yeah, there you go, Maria. You are a walking billboard. Uh, don't be a secret agent. Secret agent is nobody knows you sell real estate, right? Okay. One more aha. Good job. Two. Yes. Um, I like the way you just said, you need that support staff. You 100% do. Dude, it's like going to a, a restaurant and ordering breakfast and having the waiter say, you know, sorry, we're not going to be able to serve breakfast to you today because there's nobody in the kitchen. <laughs> that doesn't work. <laughs> Clarissa. Uh, plug and play. Just run the play. Just run the play. Quit thinking. Quit thinking and just do your job. Don't overthink this. Right, it's not ready. Aim, 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 aim. Come back in six months, I'll still be saying aim. Right, Alicia, your hand is up. Hi, John. Good morning. Um, I have a quick question. So, like, I, you know, I'm pretty much new. Is there a way that 
you can provide like a beginner's class or do we already have that one set up? Oh, we do. Absolutely. Uh, so Bill Hobbs, who is the director of productivity for the Waxman Group, holds a beginner's class, if you want to call it that, uh, every month. I don't know how often he's teaching this. Is it month? Twice, twice a month? month? Twice a month. Uh, we just had it in Coral Springs the last third, week. The third week in Coral Springs, the first week in Aventura. Okay, so week one of August, which is next week, this is being offered in Aventura. There you go. No, no. Let no? Me, let, me, let me help you with that. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So, Sarah is here. First, hey, good morning, everybody. Hi. Good morning. We're excited to be here. John, don't, 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 don't ask me, don't call on me. But anyhow, um, <laughs> anyhow, the, um, for, it's called the Agent Kickoff, and it's designed for new agents to get your career kicked off. It is four consecutive days. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 1030 to 2. The first week of the month, it is in our Fort Lauderdale office. The third week of the month, it is in the Coral Springs office. Okay. The way you would register is either reach out to your productivity coach or reach out to your director of first impression. Um, if I can, let me see if I have the link for the registration for Fort Lauderdale and I'll drop it into the chat for anyone that is interested in going next week. You do need to register. The event is free, but you do need to register through the Eventbrite um, registration form. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Sarah. That was awesome. Okay, nice time time. To get to work. Uh, time to get to work. Uh, what is work? Work is 20 conversations, not 19, not 18, not 17 conversations. Because if you have 17 conversations, you didn't have the 18 conversation, which could have been a million dollar listing that you didn't get because you didn't have the conversation. And you don't know that you missed the opportunity because you didn't even have the conversation. By the way, double down, market shifting. So forget 20 conversations, make it 40. Uh, yes, I know that's a lot, right? And Everybody can, not everybody will. It's equal opportunity, not equal rewards. Correct? Right, Karen? Yes. All right, make care calls, not, not sales calls. Always lead with gratitude. Thank you for taking my call. I appreciate you. Bring value to every single conversation. Focus on getting an appointment, getting a referral, or adding something to your, to your database or building a relationship. Find somebody today that is thinking of selling their home, whether it's next week, six months from now, or a year from now, doesn't matter because a year from now, you're gonna need listings. Meet with somebody every single day who's thinking of selling their home. That means 250 people in the next year. And then follow up with them forever because you reject rejection. No is not a word that lives in your vocabulary. No simply means not yet. Remember that people will never change their mind, but what they will do is make new decisions based on new information. When you follow up forever, you are creating emotional proximity, which simply means I'm gonna work with the person who's closest to me. And when you follow up forever, you're creating emotional proximity, Diane. So when they make a new decision based on new information, that new decision can be to- Hire me. Hire me. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm gonna hit stop record and uh, no, I'm going to get live, go off live, stop live stream. There we go. We're still recording, uh, which means all of the scripts will be on uh, my YouTube channel as well, guys. Now, super high energy because it's team meeting day. Uh, 10 minutes, 15, maybe. We're going to go through this room quickly. Get ready, okay? Diane, you want to go first? Sure. Go. Ring, ring. Hello. Hi, John. This is Diane Schuster with Keller Williams. Yep. I'm calling because I recently mailed a letter to you regarding what's going on with the real estate uh -huh. market. Uh -huh. uh, I was curious if you or if you happen to know anyone in your neighborhood who's thinking about selling your home. No, I can't think of anybody right now. Okay. Well, I appreciate you thinking about that. Okay. Uh, and what I like to do, John, is I like to keep my friends and family close by sending an email uh -huh. monthly. Yeah. It's a special group that I've put together. Yeah. And it's an email that pretty much gives you information about the market in your area. And then I'll call you every few months to check in. Would that be all right with you? Love to. Okay, great. Great job. Okay. Yes. Uh, and I like to keep my friends and family members updated on the market. That simply means I send interesting information on the real estate market once a month. And I call every three or four months just to check in. 
So shorten it just a little bit. Okay. And it was awesome. Okay. Clarissa, go. Hi, this is John. Yes. Hi, Clarissa Coddington from Keller Williams Realty. Thank you for taking my call. This sure. Morning. Yep. The reason for my call is that I mailed you a letter last week, mm -hmm. and it, I recently sold a home in your neighborhood at okay. 123 Main Street for top dollar, and yep. that's great news. And as stated in the letter, the challenge now is that there's still buyers looking for great homes like yours. Just curious, John. Do you have you thought about selling your home, or do you know if any of your neighbors have been thinking about selling their home now or within the next year? Yeah, you know, I might sell, but it'll be maybe a year from now. I can't think of anybody who's thinking of selling. Oh, John, I appreciate you taking a moment to think about that. Um, because you said yes, you might be thinking about it in a year. That goes off script. You trained me to be on script, John. Uh, <laughs> well, are you waiting? well, John, um, thank you for that. And um, if, if you're thinking about selling your home in a year, I'd like to share with you that um, I have a special friends and family group that where I update them on the market. And what that simply means is that I send them it's interesting information and I contact you. Um, every three to four months, would it be okay for me to add you into my special friends and um, family group so that I can stay in touch so that when you are ready to sell your home, I'm right there for you. Okay, awesome job, right? Yeah, and remember the seller doesn't have the script book, so they're going to go off script sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, it'd be nice if they didn't, but they do. And you have a response. You just have to be ready to go, right? It was there. Just took you a moment to find it. Correct. Yeah, so I'm thinking about selling my home, but it probably won't be for a year. Yeah, that's awesome. And I like to keep my friends and family members up. You go right into that. Uh, would it be okay if I add you to that group? Right. The only thing that I would add to that is I'd love to earn the opportunity to be your agent. Right. Okay. Good job, Teresa. Would it be rude to say? To go into what is your motivation for selling next year? Like, do you have are you retiring? Like, to get like, I want to get into my database first. I want to get yes to I'd love to be in that group. Yes, I'd love to stay in touch with you and give you the opportunity to. They're not going to literally say this, but this is what they're saying. Uh, I want to get yes to I'm going to give you an opportunity to earn the right to be my agent. Right before I do that. Now that's a great conversation for the next call, maybe. The next call. Right. Hey, by the way, last time we spoke, you mentioned that you were going to sell it here from now. Just out of curiosity, what's important to you about that? You know, just for fun. When you do sell, where are you moving to? Right. So not on the first conversation. So okay. the next yeah, play chess, not checkers. So you're move, you're 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 making strategic moves in order to set up the next move. Jonathan. Hi John, this is Jonathan King from Keller Williams Coral Springs. I just noticed that your home came off the market. Are you still interested in selling? No, I'm not. All right, John, but if I had a full price offer for your home, would you be interested in hearing that offer? Do you have an offer? That's a great question, John, and I won't know until I see your home. That's exactly why we should get together. It will only take me about 15 minutes to pop five. Okay, you can come over. What's your fee? Uh, my fee is typically 3%. Per, sorry, my fee is 3% to you. represent the buyer. Uh, okay. Nope, not paying 3% too much. I understand, John. Um, and if I do have to give up money to make the deal work, I will because I'm a deal maker and not a deal breaker. So does today at three or tomorrow at four work better for you? Tomorrow at four. Great job. And... Sure, Jonathan, I understand. And when I have an offer on your home, if I have to give up, okay? Yeah. All right, sorry, go. Hey, it's Jonathan. It's Jonathan? Yes. Okay, I'll look at okay. you. Okay. Yeah, what do you want? Hello? <laughs> okay, hello? Yeah. <laughs> My name is Zara, and I'm really so expressed with Hello, William Coral Springs. How are you today? Outstanding. Uh, great. Yeah. I, I hope you're, you're having a great day. I won't take much of your time. I just wanted to share this flyer with you, which has information regarding your home and the rest of your neighborhood. If you have any question or if you are interested in more information, uh, my contact details are on it. Okay. And okay. you're doing great. Uh, okay. Thank you so much. And, uh, and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, and by the way, homeowners often know someone.
anyone who's looking to move to the neighborhood? Do you know anyone who is interested in moving to this neighborhood or to this area? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's going so good, right? Just remember, don't don't lose your spot. I'm gonna come back yeah. here. Just remember blah works. Yeah. You don't need blah blah blah. Yeah. So just curious, who do you know? And uh, sorry. Uh, just curious, who do you know in your neighborhood that might be thinking of selling their home mm -hmm. in the next six months? That's perfect, okay. right? Uh, I don't know of anybody right now. Thank you, thank you so much for thinking. But do you know anyone in this neighborhood who's, who's thinking of selling? No, nope. can't think of anybody. Okay, okay. Thank you for thinking about that. If you need, uh, if you think of anyone, uh, would you be so kind as to refer them to me? Of course. Okay, and here you are. This yeah. is my car. And before I go, one more thing. I have a family and friends group where I send out monthly email uh -huh. with interesting information for them, okay? Yeah. About real estate market and try to update it uh -huh. and try to keep my friends updated, okay? Would you be okay to add me to that group? Yes. Okay, I want perfect. To be in that group. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love your shirt, by the way. Thank you. Aaron loves it too. Hello. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 uh, ring ring. I'd love to be doing the name of the guy. Uh, yeah, what do you want? Oh, wow. Hello, John. Yeah. Hey, this is uh, Dan Lundy with Keller Williams Realty. Okay. I noticed your listing recently came off the market. Sure. I was just wondering if you're still interested in selling. Uh, no, I'm not. But you're doing great. Keep going. Uh, well, you said no. <laughs> right. All right. Sure. And I understand. And if I had a full price offer on your home today, I understand. And if I had a full price offer on your home today, um, would you accept that offer? Uh, is that what it says in the book? Yeah. Then I wrote it wrong. Okay. Uh, cross it out and change it to if I had a full price offer on your home today, would you want me to bring you the offer? But I accept the offer. I don't know. You might get no to that. You might get I don't know. What you want is you want yes. Yeah. And you've got a better chance of getting yes to if I had a full price offer on your home, would you want me to bring you the offer today? Right? Yeah. All right. And Daniel, you did great. Before we get to that, I'm already in church. I apologize. Karen, <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to be nice to people. Somebody remind me of that. All right. Um, for sale by owner. Okay. Um, ring, ring. Yep. Hi, is this John? It is. Hi, my name is Karen with Keller Williams. How okay. are you today? I am okay. That's great. Um, the reason I'm calling is I see your home is for sale by owner. Is that correct? It is. Fantastic. Is it still available? It is. Okay, can I ask how that's going? Uh, so far, so good. I've got the best house in the block and blah, blah, blah. Oh, no doubt. I'm sure your house is wonderful. It's amazing. Uh, I've I got this great you. retreat. It's just incredible. Yes, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure it's wonderful. Yeah. Um, there are a lot of qualified buyers out there. Are you attracting any of them? <laughs> oh, wait, let me skip. Stop. Rewind. Can I ask how that's going? Have you received any offers? Uh, I like that question, by the way. Have you received uh, any? I did. I skipped. Right? Uh, no offers yet, but it's the best house in the neighborhood, I'll sell it. Okay, well, John, let me tell you, there are a lot of qualified buyers out there. Okay. Are you attracting any of them? Oh, yeah, I'm getting lots of showings. Lots of showings, but no offers. Everybody loves my house. I'm sure they do. John, what do you think is holding you back from getting offers since you have such an amazing home? <laughs> so maybe qualified buyers aren't the ones that are coming through your front door? I don't know, but I don't like you. <laughs> I completely understand. Let's say we can set a brief appointment. I can pop over and take a look at your home, and maybe we can work out what's going on. Yes, you got Fantastic. the appointment. I'm here to help you. I don't have the hard work. You're done. Okay. You got the appointment. I'm gonna be right over. All right, call me. Ring ring. Hello. Hi, John. This is Kelsey. How are you? Kelsey, I'm good. How are you? That's awesome. I am with Keller Williams, mm -hmm. um, and I just was around your neighborhood. Can I ask you a quick question? Sure, please. I saw lots of first sale signs. Do you know what's going on in the neighborhood, or, or have there been many sales? Uh, yeah, you know, the market's great, blah, blah, blah. I've got the best house in the neighborhood, blah, Were blah, blah. Were you thinking about selling? Oh, I love that. Uh, no, I'm happy. Wow, did you know they're going for top dollar right now? Jo love it. So Kelsey joined the office yesterday. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> 
right? And nice work. Oh gosh, really didn't nice work. Yet. I didn't even get to the email. Well, you're not going to. <laughs> we don't have enough time. <laughs> Super proud of you. All right. Yeah. Cool. Ring, Call me. Ring, ring. Yep. Hi, Nasty. Good job. This is. Hi, this is Shaquita. How's yep. the family? Family's good. How's yours? I'm doing wonderful. Doing wonderful. By okay. the way, I'm calling with exciting news that yeah. I recently joined Keller Williams Realty in okay. Horace Springs. Yeah. I was wondering if you could do me a favor. I would love to do you a favor. If you knew of someone who was going to buy a home, sell a home, or invest in real estate, would you refer them to me? You got it. You did okay. an amazing job, Shaquita. Awesome job. Thank you. Sophia, go. I was doing the sphere of influence as well. Let's do it. Ring, ring. Yeah, hello. Hi, John. Yeah. Hi, it's Sophia. How have you been? This is Keller Williams. How are you? I am outstanding. How are you? Well, I am good. How's the family? Family's awesome. How's work treating you? Oh, I'm doing great. Good. Well, I wanted to share with you that I'm working at um, Keller Williams again uh -huh. and just wanted to reach out and was wondering, can you do me a favor? Love to. Um, if you knew of someone that was going to buy a home, sell a home, or simply invest in real estate, would you consider referring them to me? Absolutely, 100%. You're the greatest. All right, wonderful. <laughs> and before I let you go, yeah. I'd like to add my friends and family members like you to um, my group just to share some inter interesting information with them and how the market is going. I call um, once a month, checking every few months. I you would got love it. to add. Blah, blah, blah. You got it. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so for all of you, because all of you are doing different versions of this, right? Uh, the exact script is, hey, by the way, I like to keep my friends and family members updated on the market. Don't leave with, I've got this group and I wanna add you to this group, okay? I, I know it sounds like I'm nitpicking, right? But it really matters. So by the way, I like to keep my friends and family members updated on the market. That simply means that I send them interesting information on the real estate market once a month, and I call every three or four months just to check in. Would it be okay if I added you to that group? Okay? Follow the model. Please. Aaron, go. Hey, John, this is Aaron Connington from Keller Williams and Coral Springs. Yep. I noticed that their home just came off the market, right? Okay. No, I'm not going to sell it. Sure, John. Hi, if I had a full price offer for you, would you want me to? I don't know. Do you have an offer? John, that's a great question, and I won't know until I see your home. Hmm. If I need to pop by for about 10 to 15 minutes to view your home and potentially bring you an offer. Is today at three or tomorrow at four better? Tomorrow at four works, but it was on the market six months. Where were you? John, that's a great question. And normally when I come across a home that didn't sell like yours, it's usually for one of three reasons. Either price, presentation, or marketing. Just curious, which of the three is the one is the reason why you think your home? Awesome works? job. Awesome job. So normally when, I think when a home doesn't sell that should have, when a home doesn't sell that should have like yours. When a home doesn't sell that should have, make sure you include that. Yeah. When a home doesn't sell that should have, like yours, it usually comes down to one of three reasons. Yeah. And I heard that I missed something. No worries. Awesome job. And way to ignore me being a jerk, right? Good. Maria. Uh, ring, ring. Yeah. Good morning. This is Maria with Keller Williams. I noticed your listing recently came off the market, and I'm calling to find out if you're still interested in selling. No, but you're doing amazing. You sound like an amazing agent. Keep okay. going. Um, I understand, John. However, if I had a full price offer next week, would you want me to bring that to you? Of course I would. That's great. What I would love to do is pop by, give you a home in case I do have a buyer that would make an offer on your home. Is that okay? So can I change that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're doing an incredible job, Maria. I'm super proud of you, Thank right? You. Right, so uh, what I'd love to do is pop by and take a look at your home so I could potentially bring you an offer. Uh, I'm available today at four or would tomorrow at five be better for you? Versus, is that okay, right? Okay. Yep, don't give, me a, don't give me an opportunity to say no, that's not so okay. Like Just assume the fact that I'm gonna wanna meet with you. Okay. And go for the close on today at four or tomorrow at five. And week one, How's she doing? Great, great. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. And if I can make one other suggestion, I'll do it on the phone. don't. I you guys <laughs> and your notes on your phones crack me up. It's like this itty bitty thing you're looking yeah. at. Yeah, I have to put it on my laptop and bring it out. Blow it up. All right, Madison, go. Okay, I'm gonna do an expired. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Great. Hello. Hi, John. I'm Madison. I'm a local realtor. I saw you recently had a property on the market that didn't sell. And since I specialize, specialize in selling homes that didn't sell the first time around, 
I would love to show you some of my marketing strategies on how I can sell your home for the most amount of money in the least amount of time. You available today at four? Yes. Come on over and listen. Oh. <laughs> amazing. Absolutely amazing. Good work. I love, since I specialize in selling homes, that yeah. I love that. I love that. Go. Hi, John. I'm Alex Lauren. Alex? Yes. Yes. Alex, I, I actually am meeting you for the first time, by the way. Um, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yes. Uh, I believe you met with Justin. I was out of the office that day, right? And I've heard really good things about you, too, by the way. So I'm glad you're here. How's it going so far? Uh, I like it. I like this class. I like the, I like the, the, the surroundings. Yeah. Everyone has pretty cool vibes. Yeah. Yeah. The, I, I agree. Cool vibes. Yeah. Absolutely agree. Yeah. 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 And I, I love, I yeah, right. I think so many people are saying that about me. Yeah, he's cool, right? Um, yeah, I love this rock star group of young, um, super high minded uh, rock stars that we're attracting to our office, right? I don't know what they're teaching in school, but you guys are so much further ahead than, than I was when I was your age many 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 years ago right yeah alex you're doing great okay and this little this is like a little nervous talking in front of people right um not really not no what's up with you um, <laughs> all right call me again now it's super important that i understand every word you say so over pronounce and use tonality uh, and change of pace to an energy. I'm always coaching. Even now, I'm coaching. I'm speaking to you in a way. <laughs> I want you to speak to me. Okay? Okay. Go. Ring, ring. Yes. <laughs> Good afternoon. My name is Alex from Kettle Williams Realty. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. I'm calling. I don't know the script, though. You did great. All I want. Oh, you're going to be a rock star. You absolutely are going to be a rock star. Okay, it's team meeting day, so I have a favor. If you would, uh, Aaron, can you lead this? Uh, follow Aaron's lead. We're going to take the tables out and we're going to set up chairs. Uh, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, eight rows of six chairs. So 48 chairs in the room, Aaron. All right, everybody on Zoom, make it a great day.